The Future Awards Nigeria holds annually in celebration of some of the most distinguished youths around Africa between the ages of 18 and 31. This year, in addition to the awards, the Future Awards are raising funds to help fight the Ebola pandemic, which has hit some parts of Africa. The prestigious annual awards, which have been tagged hashtag This is Africa, aims to inspire leadership and build enterprise through the celebration and recognition of hard work and contributions made by young people between the ages of 18 and 31 to the development of society. Also, in the spirit of responsibility, Youth of Africa will be supporting in the worldwide fight of the virus by motivating other young Africans across the continent to get involved in the global effort to stop the Ebola pandemic. The organization, through a statement by their head of media and communication for the 2014 edition, Ayodeji Rotinwa, said they will be carrying out a fundraiser to get donations from their Africa-wide nominees, winners and alumni, as well as celebrities and guests of the event. The initiative is in partnership with the World Health Organization and all funds raised will be channeled through legitimate and active organizations that are on the forefront of the fight. The fight against the virus in the continent is a collective responsibility of every African and the youth who are the strength of every nation must be active in the fight against the deadly virus. Well done guys! Africa's largest online hotel booking platform, Jovago, has received an award for Best Information Website of the Year in recognition of the quality of hotel information listed on the website. The award was clinched in an award ceremony that was put together by the Records and Information Management Foundation, which seeks to promote access to information and also raise awareness on proper management and security of these records and information. Marek Smyslovsky, Managing Director of Jovago.com, said in response to the award, We are glad that our efforts towards improving the tourism and hospitality sector are being recognized. As Africa's leading hotel booking portal, Jovago.com takes great care to ensure that all hotel information uploaded on our website is both accurate and informative so that our customers are sure that what they see on our website will be what they get on arrival at the hotel. <laughs> Now guys, if you were on social media a couple of days ago, you might have noticed something very interesting happening in the Twitterverse. The social media platform had been buzzing for some days about new generation Nigerian chefs and their presentation skills of Nigerian food. Some people claim that Nigerian food has no business being plated like continental food, while others claim that it was growth that should be celebrated. Nigerian foodie site at Niger Foodie started off with, Why are Nigerians so critical? Any non-traditional display of food seems to be a crime. Should we always do the same thing? Hashtag Amala, hashtag Eba, hashtag Jolof. And the answers came. At Static Statistics said, People are doing crimes with food. The food never asks for this. The food doesn't wish to be objectified, but to be consumed for the food it is. Support came from at Powerpuff Katie with, If you want your Eba mountain with the Wedu River, Go to Yabasira. But the others were not convinced. As the Mamu said, Why would you roll a by in small balls for me on top presentation? Am I a baby? And Kamoru Sidon Papa exclaimed, Leave Aeba alone. It is Eba, not plasticine. You are chefs, not Picasso. What is it? Ike said to Niger Foodie, What you're doing is just trying to erase our heritage and it's not helping. And Powerpuff Katie shut the whole thing down with, whether you all like it or not, Nigerian food will be plated differently online from now on. You can vex all you want. So guys, what do you think? Should we encourage all these new and creative ways of plating Nigerian food? Or should we just stop all this foreign nonsense and eat our food the way we've always eaten it? Share your opinions using the hashtag SayIt.